welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Thursday, December 7th, 2023. Block Native releases a new transaction explorer. Safe introduces a recovery solution. Core developers agree to activate Dancun on Gorli until 2024. And Connects announces the Baco network upgrade. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is sponsored by Harpy, an on-chain security solution for Ethereum-based wallets. Harpy helps you detect and prevent malicious transactions before they execute, safeguarding your assets from theft in real time. Secure your wallet for free at harpy.io forward slash ETH daily. Block Native launched Ethernow.xyz, a new transaction explorer designed to provide visibility into pre chain and real time transaction activities. Distinct from traditional block explorers that focus on post chain data, Ethernow shows transactions from the moment they appear in the public mempool through finalization. Users can monitor transaction anxiety, slippage, and MEV activities. Ethernow provides insights into private transaction order flow block construction metrics, and grants access to historical mempool and transaction data for up to 60 days old. Ethernow aims to reduce information asymmetries regarding pre-chain data. The development of the Explorer was supported by a grant from the Ethereum Foundation. SAFE launched the SAFE Recovery Hub, an account recovery solution for SAFE smart wallet users. The system provides a range of recovery options tailored to different custody preferences. Users can appoint hardware wallets, family members, or third-party providers as their recoverers, with Signum and CoinCover being initial partners. The recovery process does not involve sharing private keys, instead it operates on a multi-sig mechanism. Users can customize their time lock review window. The window allows users to halt the recovery process if needed. After the review window elapses, the designated recoverer is authorized to transfer wallet ownership. Safe smart wallet users can set up recovery in their safe wallet settings. Ethereum core developers agreed not to set a fork date for the Gordly testnet until early 2024. The Dankun upgrade can now be activated on Gordly as soon as mid January. In preparation, developers plan to execute a shadow fork on Gordly in the coming weeks. Shadow forks are used to test various scenarios in a controlled environment before implementing upgrades on live networks. Gorli has the highest node count and state size among Ethereum testnets, second only to mainnet. Its size makes it an ideal testing ground for the Denkun upgrade, which includes the implementation of EIP-4844 blob transactions. Over the next few weeks, client teams will continue working on and resolving bugs on DevNet 12. And lastly, Connects Network announced the Baco Network Upgrade, an update that reduces the cost of supporting new chains. Baco enables Connects to expand support for new chains more rapidly. Baco allows messages to be passed between chains via the Connects sequencer instead of through other rollups sequencers. The method involves an optimistic approach with a 30-minute fault detection window for potential disputes by watchers. The upgrade is scheduled to go live for December 14th following a successful DAO vote. In other news, Layer Zero announced plans to release a token in the first half of 2024. Off-chain Labs proposed for ApeChain to launch as an Arbitrum Orbit chain. Optimism deployed its OP stack fault-proof system on Testnet, and Circle released a developer faucet. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.